Good morning, everyone. Reminiscences feels like a Christopher Nolan movie, and that's not no surprise. It's directed by Lisa Joy and produced by Jonathan Nolan, who are both married. And of course, Jonathan is Christopher Nolan's brother, and he borrows a lot of cinematic experience from him. They both come from the terrific Westworld TV show on HBO. And if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. The duo are obsessed with technology, human emotions, and memory, and that clearly shows in this movie. Given a much larger budget, seen as in the movie, as well as access to stars like Rebecca Ferguson and Hugh Jackman, they're able to craft a movie that truly delights. Step aside, Christopher Nolan. Your brother and his wife can make good movies. The duo also heavily borrows from Steven Spielberg's And If You Love Minority Report, you'll love this movie. Rebecca Ferguson is phenomenal, again, coming from the Mission Impossible movies. You know what to expect, and she does not disappoint. Hugh Jackman seems to come from his X-Men days. He is just as masculine and a great on-screen presence as he ever was. It's a mix of sci-fi, psychological thriller, and most of the movie relies on the exploration of Rebecca Ferguson's past. It's not necessarily a bad thing, because the best sci-fi movies are not focused on the sci-fi aspects. It's, you know, it's a separate story that just happens to be in a sci-fi universe. And that's when truly good movies are made. The movie's in a not-so-distant future, where the world is basically overrun by oceans due to climate change. And that's not too hard to imagine with the hurricanes and storms and flooding that we've seen in the past couple of weeks. Again, Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joyce's choice of using special effects and and which house they use, and especially how subtle the effects are, really shows in this movie. And audience gets to buy in into this world without being distracted by really bad CGI. The movie is rated PG-13, but it really should be rated R. If you've seen Westfall, you know Lisa and Jonathan's affectionate use of violence and sexuality. So I wouldn't bring a kid younger than 15 to this movie. Of course, it's being also simultaneously released on HBO Max. And if you want to watch it at home, now would be a good time to start your HBO Max subscription. This is a movie worth watching on it. Hugh Jackman plays a solitary military veteran living in Miami, which is, like I said, flooded by rising seas. And he's an expert in offering clients a chance to relive any memory they desire. And, of course, Rebecca Ferguson comes into his life as May, as a mysterious young woman, and starts a passionate love affair. Of course, during the course of events, uh, May is implicated in some violent, very violent situations. And Hugh Jackman, or Bannister, must kind of explore this dark psychological world to uncover the love of his life. This is great Nolan storytelling at its best. Good pacing that enlarges to scope and enshroud you and then capture you so you're stuck in this world. This movie gets a 9 out of 10 or A+. And if they didn't announce the director so blatantly, I would have assumed this was their Christopher Nolan movie. This is another movie definitely worth watching this year. And as always, if you subscribe, let's continue to keep you updated with movie news. Thanks.